I wanted to begin, Letitia, to ask in terms of your sort of research and kind of meeting people that might have been on this kind of going, gone through similar things to help craft this performance that you put in, in this movie. Yes. Um, most of the research was, you know, done by Frank. He spent four years um, just meeting with people who have experienced um, similar situations that Aisha has experienced. So it was really on the page, which is beautiful as an artist to come into something that is filled with so much life and substance. Um, and then I was blessed with the opportunity to, to meet people who are still a part of um, organizations that are, are actively helping people, you know, in different ways, whether it's with mental health or advice or legal advice, just people who are, who are activists in, in, in this, in this, uh, in the, what do I say? In, in just dismantling the provision system, mm. right? They're actively working to do this. So when you get access to people who have such a heart and such a desire um, for what they stand for, that feeds into your work as an artist. So I was really fortunate to meet them, really fortunate mm. to hear their stories. And that's what you see on screen. Mm. I was also hesitant to word, use the word story because as Aisha says, it's not a story, it's her life, it's she her says life, in the movie. Yes. How important is it to bring humanity and individualism to people in this situation and to move away from them just being statistics refugees that you see in the newspapers? Yeah, that was, um, that was really, that's the purpose of the film in a way, you know. Um, it was, uh, the process uh, involved a lot of listening and a lot of talking over many years. Um, and what, what happens is, you know, you you start to hear very similar things from different disparate places and people who don't know each other. And, and the picture and the story of the f film starts to emerge and the character starts to emerge. And, and really, for me, it's just listening and learning about what are the kind of state imposed obstacles that that an individual in this situation has to deal with and what are the legal, very often a protracted legal situation. Um, and listening uh, to the, the pain of not knowing what your future is and de the pain of having de deportation as a possibility hanging over your, your shoulder all the time. Um, and I basically w would, would research as much as I could to get as close to reality as I could over a long period of time and then uh, put it on the page and then um, really when we start to make the film, get out of the way really. And then the character, Letitia, takes the character and then oxygen is brought in to the character and the character then becomes something else really it's just it evolves and becomes more real and um and then we're we're so for me i was just watching this uh, aisha kind of bloom really in front of me and it felt very very real and on all the all the research and all the the experience of of talking to people over the years just started to come alive in in, in front of me and in ways that i could never write really you know from my perspective it, it just um, Aisha as a character became very real and that was exciting because the purpose of the film is to create uh, a realistic uh, film, a film that we can, we can create a space to talk about the issues, you know, mm. so, yeah. Mm. So do you think the system is broken then? Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's, it's um, I spent four years listening to people and, uh, uh, and working, collaborating with people who um, have, have really suffered and it's it's it was the motivation every day uh, making the film the motivation and the conviction got stronger really the more and more you listen to how the real world very real implications to a system that's designed to do something and you feel like the people who design the system are very far removed from the reality and the human the human experience and the suffering that's caused and the government have uh, the Irish government have acknowledged that uh, and are now, have now pledged to dismantle the system. Uh, so um, that's, that's uh, uh, and to replace it with a, a, um, a system that is more mindful of human rights and, and, and not for profit. So um, yeah. I don't know if does that answer your question? Yeah, like, no, but I don't, okay. don't want to sort of come in and be all sort of um, downcast and sort of be all gloomy. But it, one thing that struck me, I know these people are doing their jobs in the film, you know, the people, you know, but it's, there's a kind of lack of compassion, isn't there, that I think, and this isn't just what this, it, within the movie, it's within society at the moment. Does that strike you both? And does it sort of still surprise you to see, I know they're sort of fulfilling orders, but the characters in this that are making Aisha's life so difficult, they just seem to lack that compassion, which was quite striking. It was what I took from this movie. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, we tried to make the film. I think it would it would weaken the film if 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 it was too kind of condemned the the people working within the system too much. We tried to uh, make the film as realistic as possible, and that was a a conversation that I was having throughout the research about what is it like to, you know to live in this circ- in these circumstances. And and basically, you would hear that there are very very kind of um, there are you know. Um, Good and bad security guard, uh, security guards, and there there are oppressive and kind managers, and there's there's you know it's it's a very it's a living place, you know, and you find compassionate people working in direct provision, uh, you find people who maybe the power might go to their heads a bit, and and uh, who are um, hostile, you know, um, it's all it's ev- it's everything, and we tried to create a, a a fair and a real environment you know uh, on screen that 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 reflects the reality you know um and frank was saying obviously the character of Aisha sort of bloomed during the movies was that the case for you did you find that you kind of grew closer to the characters that it went on and did she change in your perception as well as you were making this yeah um i felt like it was like a like a slow cooker type mm. of um process for us to discover Aisha. um she has a quiet strength about her and as we continued to do the scenes and as I continued to work with Frank, each day was a new and fresh conversation that not only kept us present in the story that we were telling um, and in the, the, the people that we were representing because we, 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 we thrived for, for truth. Um, um, we, we, um, we were seeking that every day, every time we were going onto the set. Um, but as we did that, yeah, she developed in ways that I didn't expect. Um, it was quite a pleasant surprise because you, you do the film and you're not seeing the takes. Mm. Um, so when it came together and I got to see a cut, I was really, really moved by it because it is a is a gradual growth. Um, and, and, and you see the gradual growth of pain as well mm. that she goes through and also um, uh, strength and, and, and hope and resi- resilience and... Um, and love as well. So you see all of that intertwined in into this timeline of trying to trying to get to the other side, and the other side is simply just an opportunity to work and exist mm. and to provide for your family, which is very simple human needs and very um, fair human needs. So yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank My you. My editor's going to kill me for not mentioning Black Panther, but there's too much to talk about with this movie. So. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> oh, uh, next time. Cheers. Thanks thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.